Hello, I'm Fuxius, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to bake avatars inside of VR to increase performance. So I have this avatar, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my point of view. There we go. And I'm going to spawn another copy over here. Well, let's put it over here. Next thing, I'm going to grab the developer tooltip, which is in the essential tools. So it's this one. And I'm going to open it up. So let's navigate upwards to the hierarchy. And let's go under centered root. And under here, we can see there's a bunch of meshes. So essentially what these represent, uh, these are the individual pieces of the avatar mesh. And you can see they are split into separate parts. Anyway, for example, if I disable one, you see how, how it hides this part. And this is done so this avatar is very configurable. So we have like male and female versions, and you can even interchange different pieces. For example, I can enable the, I can enable female version. Is using the same rig, or I could even like individually enable and disable these pieces. But I'm gonna keep the configuration as as it was. But let's say you have the avatar already configured. The problem with uh, everything being split into little pieces like this is it has uh, performance implications because every single piece that's being rendered has extra overhead. So what I would like to do is once I have the avatar all configured and ready, I would like to combine these pieces and essentially bake all the information into a single mesh, thus improving performance. In the latest version of NEOS, uh, you can actually find a tool which will greatly simplify the setup. You don't even need to exit VR. So the first thing I need to make sure is that all of the meshes you can see there are also some for the for the hands, which also have a uh, lots of different lots of different pieces. What I need to make sure is all of the meshes, that is the components which have the skin mesh render on them, are under a single object. So I'm gonna select root node, I'm gonna create a new child. And let's name it meshes. And I'm just gonna grip these and parent all of these under this. So now it's all under a single mesh. The elements at the back are extra accessories, so I don't want to bake these because those will be enabled and disabled. And now once I have everything under this component, what I'm gonna do is grab another tool. I'm gonna grab the glue tip. So this is normally used for gluing objects together, but uh, if you open up the menu, you can see there's under mode called bake meshes. This one is the standard mesh baking, which is for static meshes, but there's another mode which is called bake skin meshes. And I say this makes the tool turn uh, magenta. So now all, uh, all that I need to do is I need to grip the root of the meshes and I will press my secondary, which is usually the touchpad or the joystick. So I press it. I will wait a little bit, and it's all baked together. And you can see it feels and looks uh, the same. It's still moving, but now instead of a hierarchy of objects, if I open this up, I have one big uh, skin mesh render. It's using multiple materials because uh, it automatically combines all of the materials, but if the materials themselves are different, it needs to combine this into submissions, but it alone helps uh, a lot with performance. So, for this part, if you, the fewer materials you use, the fewer materials are going to be in this list, and it's also going to improve performance. But to get this kind of look, it needs multiple materials. And also, if you look at the mesh, this won't render correctly as the preview because it's using submeshes. But you can see there are seven submeshes, and all of the geometry is combined into a single mesh. So this avatar will have much, much better performance. So now we can essentially take this avatar, you can save it back into your inventory. And you can start using it with uh, much more less uh, CPU and GPU footprint and also memory footprint. So let me open back my camera streaming. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, uh, you can ask in the comments. Also, you can uh, join our Discord where you can get help with a lot of Neos topics. Uh, and the links are in the description as well. And if you like, you can support this project on our Patreon. And if you want to watch more, more stuff like this, uh, subscribe to the channel. Or you can also follow our official Twitch channel where we do regular live, live streams, where we showcase what's possible in Neos, where we have some fun. Or we even have like some educational, educational streams. And... That's pretty much it. So 
that I already mentioned on Patreon. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching, and see you next time. Bye, guys.